Welcome to AstroProductReviews.com. Make sure to click subscribe and give us a like on the video. Hey guys, John Crisp here with AstroProductReviews.com. Pretty excited, got my CEM 120 out for the first time last night. Wanted to give you guys my first impressions of how it all went. First, very solid, very happy with it right out of the gate. Not being paid for this review, but just wanted to give everybody a quick heads up on what I've learned so far. First and foremost, it was worth all the practice. I used this mount down in my basement, connected to my computer, making sure everything worked. Got a comfortable feel for how to set it up, get it going. And that really paid off last night. I was waiting for the ideal night to get it outside. Well, that just wasn't last night. We had a couple hour window of time. I thought it would be later in the evening, but it cleared up early. I hurried and got this thing hauled up the stairs outside, set up on my tripod and started getting data within really a few minutes after alignment, which was really nice. I've got the Polemaster camera installed, did the alignment very quickly, very easy. The knobs were easy to get to uh, with even with gloves it wasn't too bad so once i had that i got it lined up got it aligned got orion in the general field of view of the camera then came inside had a usb cable running inside the house connected it to the wi-fi network started getting data did a few tests with an eight inch orion telescope which is also new to me so i was learning that as well and i had a sony qx1 camera through a coma corrector on that orion eight inch scope and did 49 images unguided and it was awesome that thing stayed dead center in the images no blurring every one of those images was usable and i'll post the picture i didn't take any darks or didn't do any flats i just simply stacked it and did a little bit of post processing in photoshop but it worked perfect saw clouds starting to come in on the horizon so i hurried up switched out the camera for my attic 490. by the way focus was very quick i didn't do anything scientific I didn't use a mask, I didn't go in and do any real focus other than just mark one eyeball, but because I, I wanted to get it going and I knew I was running out of time. I set up PhD guiding at that point with my guide camera and everything started tracking and looking okay, a little bit jittery and I'll talk about that in a second, but I did do a 600 second exposure, uh, some 60 second exposures and a couple of 200 second exposures and then ran out of time before the clouds really came in and became a factor. And I posted those, I'll provide links in the description, but overall it tracked on a 600 second exposure with no real problems, even with a little bit of jumpiness in the mount. We had three to five mile an hour winds last night. The wind would catch the telescope. I can tell you it was not this mount. This thing is rock solid. When the gears are engaged, it was rock steady. But what I noticed, and I tested this, I've got half inch bolts that attach this to my tripod. And I could take, and just even touching the scope with the moment that was on the, the mount, it was twisting where these bolts meet my mount. And I took some pictures of that to describe it. So that's the weak link in my chain right now. So I knew that tripod was going to be on the low level capabilities and holding this mount. I did a few tests just to see, and it held it okay, but it was definitely a factor last night with the weight and the momentum of everything that's up on this mount that tripod just can't handle it. Ioptron just came out with a new pier mount combo, tripod, sorry, and I'm waiting for that, and I hope that that's gonna be something I can use with this mount. But that's really the takeaway for me, was this is a beast, you wanna mount it on something really solid and go from there. But very happy with my first results with this mount. Can't wait, hopefully tomorrow night we get some better weather. I'm going to have to figure out how to engineer a better setup for right now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might actually make something over the weekend that I can take this thing and use it tomorrow night if we get a full night of usability. And I'll post more pictures as we go. But wanted to give you guys a quick update. My first impressions, very pleased so far. Know that I've got to do something with that tripod setup and go from there. So thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and give us a like on the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I'll do more of these videos as we go forward. So thanks for watching.